Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before I go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below. We are doing a vlog today and I actually don't think I've ever done like a dedicated vlog type of thing other than when I first got my hair permed or maybe the second time I got my hair permed. Either way, I haven't done a vlog in a very long time and I wanted to vlog this process because i felt like it's very relevant what this vlog is about is actually building out this vanity that is behind me if you guys didn't know i built out a vanity with my husband back in june and i filmed all of the content and the entire process and now i'm finally getting it up for you guys and what i basically want to do is kind of give you the insight on it and kind of like the process on how we did everything along with all of the footage of when we did it so to give you guys some info on it, I film in a spare room that we have dedicated as my office space in our home. And this room was split into two essentially. So if you don't know, I do have a beauty photography business and I also do content creation. So the room was basically split up in a way, but not in a great way. I didn't have a dedicated spot to film. I was rolling a table in and out and bringing makeup in from our bedroom to film and all of that and eventually I just had piles and piles and of boxes with makeup in here and I needed to do something about the storage and I also just felt like I didn't have a lot of creative juices flowing because the room was so chaotic and at the beginning of 2023 I did decide that I wanted to focus a lot more on the content creation portion of it and see kind of how I can grow in this sense so i wanted this room to reflect that so the majority of this room is dedicated to content creation now which is why i thought it would be perfect to finally have a vanity space for storage and also to film more of my content you'll see me kind of elaborate more on that information within the vlog and we have a lot of diy projects that we've done within our home so i went to him and i asked him if this was something that we could achieve if this is something that he felt he was capable of doing and he he said yes we sorted out the plans of it and we figured out a budget now my budget sounds like a lot and it is a lot definitely um i budgeted out about a thousand dollars to this project and like i said this is my full-time job now so for me it is a work expense if i was just doing this as a hobby which i was for a very long time i would not spend that much on a vanity i think that is kind of out of our personal budget but because this is work I felt like it was necessary and it was time <laughs> and the last thing I wanted to touch on was originally I thought that we would just break down this project into a few weeks and a few months and buy each piece bit by bit every month but that didn't end up happening i decided that i would go ahead bite the bullet and just purchase everything so we could get everything done i'm really happy with this space i am so happy about the way everything turned out and yeah so without further ado let's get into the beginning of the vlog good morning everybody so it is june Oh my gosh what day is it it's june 10th i wanted to do kind of like a vlog today because i have decided that i'm going to with the help a lot of help from my husband build out my vanity and this is a really exciting thing for me because this is something that i've been talking about doing for years and we are finally going to do it so i'm getting ready right now we have a couple of places to go to today like i mentioned it has taken me quite a while to decide on a vanity and the reason being i could never really one decide what type of vanity i wanted the look that i wanted and also too, I just was constantly putting it off. There's always something else to prioritize before my vanity, you know? But now I am really excited because for me, my vanity is going to be not only organization and not only is it going to be a place for me to do my makeup but it's also going to serve as a spot for me to film i really want to film my short form videos there such as my instagram reels my tiktoks my youtube shorts all of that and i also want to use it as a live background in my youtube videos this room as you can see just by that 
is literally in shambles. It has been a huge stressor for me for quite some time and I just really wanted to do something about it. <laughs> Most of my makeup are actually in boxes. I have them literally just stacked against the wall in boxes because I just have no sort of organization in here right now. Since buying my home, it's kind of moved from one room to another, but now it's going to stay in this room. So my inspiration, actually, I saw it on Pinterest and I really, really loved the concept of it. It's essentially a six drawer dresser and it has like a wood tabletop on the side of it either left or right i haven't decided what side just yet and the wood piece is cool because it's very minimal but you can also kind of slide it in and outwards towards and away from the dresser so you can kind of like compress your vanity space just depending on i guess you know your mood and i really like that i get really nervous when it comes to commitment on design and buying big pieces and stuff for the home so this kind of felt like a really nice middle ground no offense to anyone that just has the white vanity with the mirror and stuff like that i think that serves its purpose i think it's very nice and clean but i personally did not want to just go that route it didn't really feel like something that fits in with my aesthetic and truthfully i'm still not super sold on the white dresser alone but the touch of wood being part of the vanity i think really makes it more my thing i'm trying out this new radiant concealer from tarte i think i'm gonna go heavy concealer light on other complexion products so the plan today is we are going ahead to Rockler, which is kind of like a woodworking store. And we're going to see what cuts and types of wood pieces we can purchase in order to make part of the vanity. And then we're going to go to Ikea to get a dresser that's similar to the inspo picture. I think it's going to be the mom dresser, but if that changes, of course, you guys will see that. I actually really like how this concealer kind of melts into the skin when you tap it in with your finger. The smart thing would have to kind of organize this room and get it ready for a new piece of furniture, but I did not. But that's okay. We can take care of that today. This is really the only thing that I have scheduled for myself today because I am very excited about it. Oh, I'm also going to be purchasing through this process a lit vanity mirror, which I'm so excited about. Surprisingly enough, I do not have a vanity mirror. I just use this from impressions just this like small mirror thing right here i've always just used that but i'm so excited to have a lit one because one it's going to be larger and it's going to give me really nice lighting no matter the time of day and two it's going to act as my lighting for videos so i love a multi-purpose type of thing that's why I can justify it you know and I've been looking into a couple of different ones on Amazon and I'm just trying to figure out which one I want right now people have asked me to do kind of like a makeup collection tour and like a vanity tour and I've never done it because of this reason but I'm really excited to kind of do that within this video and maybe I'll film a separate one of my collection because it's pretty large and I think that was one of the driving factors of why I needed to do this now because this collection is starting to kind of like loom over me. I know it doesn't seem like light makeup but <laughs> my purpose was to do light makeup today. It's currently 7 54 in the morning it's about to be eight o'clock and we want to get to Rockler fairly early today like right when it opens at nine because it's in a part of town that gets very, very busy on the weekends. So we're trying to get ahead of things today. I think I actually want to use this as my foundation powder today. Typically I will just use this to set like my under eyes and any area that I really want set. But today I'm gonna use it as my foundation. I've been testing out these bronzer sticks from Merit though and so far, I like the texture of it. It's very lightweight. I'm really dousing my face in this today. I've been trying out this Romand Hen All Fix Mascara, and I like it so far. I have it in black and brown, and this is the black one. It actually holds my curl really well, which is so exciting. I think I curled my lashes kind of funny. They're going 
like in weird directions. Okay, makeup is done. These, this cluster of pimples is really bothering me, but we'll just leave it at what it is because I don't want to keep messing with it, you know, and making it look heavier. So I'm going to spray with my one size setting spray. Sometimes I feel like no product is coming out. It's just air. So I got to like spray for a long time. Ready to go. We are farmers. <laughs> okay, we're outside of Rockler. We got Chick-fil-A. We're having a little breakfast date, right, babe? Yeah. So what is our goal here? What are we trying to find? I want, is it walnut? Are we looking at walnut slabs? Or are we going to look at MDF? Well, no, any we're going to look at any type of wood that we might want to use. So we have a couple options. We'll either do some, M, like, a, like a big thing of MDF at uh, like Home Depot and cut that up, glue them together so it's the right thickness. Mm -hmm. And here we'll just be getting walnut veneer and like edge banding and stuff. Or if they have like a sale section or I guess like off cut section. Of actual wood. Of actual wood that's cheaper. But we're most likely not going to buy anything today. We're just going to kind of look and see what our options are. Woodworking and hardware. It's a box of wood. This is a box of splinters waiting to happen. Ooh, so nice. Okay, so Rockler did not pan out because the wood was very pricey. And also they didn't have the cut of wood wide enough for what we want. So they referred us to their distribution center that's on the other side of town. So maybe we'll either call or go there at some point. But our other option, which Judd told me, was that we can do MDF and then use veneer on the outsides to make it look like wood. And it's still gonna be just as strong which is fine. I just want to be a little bougie and get real wood just because we're making it. Or finish, like a finished plywood. Oh, or a finished plywood. So we have options for sure. This whole project is going to be quite pricey. That's why um, I don't want to go over budget too much on any of the actual pieces unless we absolutely have to. At least we got a baseline of like what those prices are and what's available and all that stuff. So that's good. So now we're going to Costco to do a couple things and then Ikea to get the drawer. It's 11.02 and it's 81 degrees outside and it's pretty hot. It looks colder than days ago yeah a few days ago it was like 92 outside 98. 98 oh i didn't go outside i guess okay this is what we're doing the mom in white and i think it's the perfect size and essentially this is going to be on the left side probably and then the wood pieces that we're buying are going to be on this side if you can envision that and it's a good height too it's like right around Probably a little under my hip. Here is the drawer, the white one. It was literally there, right here. So this is what we're doing. And then we're gonna have a contrasting dark wood on this side. There it is, doggy toy. section of Ikea is the as is section. We're trying to see if they have any veneer pieces here that are in as is that we can purchase instead to then cut up and create that wood part on the right side of the vanity. So far we have not found anything. The last time we came to the as is section we found this really beautiful veneer. It was kind of like an oak but we're actually going to end up using that in our laundry room. And it doesn't really go with what I want for the vanity, even if we were to stain it and stuff. Okay, I wanted to jump on here because I forgot to film a very important portion to the IKEA 
trip and that is that we bought a veneer piece of wood from ikea to make this tabletop right here that you see so i went that route because as you guys could see actual wood was very expensive it was definitely going to put us past our budget and we found the perfect piece of veneer at ikea i went with a walnut slash veneer and we did the i'm looking at the ikea listing right now it's a 98 by one and a half inch piece of veneer this was available and ready at ikea so we went ahead and picked that up and what we ended up doing which you will see in the vlog is that we took that long piece of veneer and we cut some of it off to create the leg of the table and then we also cut off some of the width because it was wider than this dresser right here we cut off that width and we actually made some shelves which sit up here you can't see it whenever i'm filming my youtube video but we were able to create two shelves and i love them i'm so glad that we went that route because it kind of just ties everything in together so yes that is another piece very important piece that we picked up from ikea we're back home with the puppies i'm gonna give this to them yes good puppies okay Okay, we are back home and I need to go ahead and kind of move everything out of the way so we can put together the dresser and kind of see what we're working with. I'm a little nervous about the size. And also, I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like, okay? This is, again, a photography studio as well as content creation, like filming type of studio room. So it is an absolute mess. Okay. <laughs> so this is where all my makeup basically is most of the makeup that i'm filming with right now they're literally in boxes here and then i have this little hamper where i recycle all of the boxes that i get from pr or just like um things that i order this is my filming table as well as my shooting table typically when i do any photography i will use this and I have a backdrop stand that I put away so it just isn't in the way. I will have like these rolls of seamless paper. That's where this wall is where I shoot. And then on this side is where <laughs> this used to be organized, but I have kind of let it do its thing. But this was like my current shooting props and products and all that stuff. But now it kind of just like holds random things and then this was my storage I know it is an absolute mess my lenses everything else it's just such a mess and I hate it and I let it go crazy and now it just drives me insane so that's why I was desperate to you know start this process of getting everything situated and getting it looking good. This is where I used to work. This was my standing desk. However, whenever we got the puppy, I started working downstairs. So this has become a catch-all. And again, this is horrible. So we are gonna get this room organized and ready to go for more filming and just creative space and everything. And it's just, it's a lot all the time. So I need something that will contain it and just look good and make me want to film more. Okay, so when I was moving stuff around, I actually decided that I want to put the vanity on this wall right here, trying to fit the drawer, like the dresser, plus the wood part of the vanity, plus the desk. It would just look really crowded in this area. And I'm kind of thinking like, why should I do that when I have a full wall right here, you know? This wall could be the vanity and we can put shelving up here and then this could act as more shelving or more storage, like maybe a tall like Alex drawer or just something else to store more makeup because I know I'm gonna get it. And yeah, so I'm gonna be working with this wall now. It's exactly the same in measurement. I mean, it's a square, the whole room is like the same, but because this desk is here, it definitely does cut a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. So I took my makeup off. I am looking crazy. Um, so I'm gonna be putting together the drawers and Judd will be putting together the frame of the dresser. And then we're just gonna combine it all together and it should be, should be pretty simple. I've put together a couple of these before my previous job we had volunteered and we had to put together ikea furniture hopefully 
I can remember what I did like three years ago. Um, but yeah, this should be fun. Did it create a hole? Yep, soft tapping screw. Okay. Cool, finished. Took us an hour and a half. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I am working with the dresser right now. We ended up moving it to the far right corner versus the far left where we put it last night because I decided that I wanted to do um, the actual sitting portion of the vanity to the left side closer to the window and also because of the angle that I typically film like my short videos I would have seen this desk in the background if I had it where the dresser is now so we're making that change so everything is going to kind of like flip you know I have look I did little faux freckles on top of my existing freckles oh gosh I'm looking so crazy so now I'm gonna see if I can organize my makeup in these dressers I don't have a lot of like acrylic containers or even containers in general like I'm pulling all the ones that I have so I'm pulling all of these and stuff I'm gonna see like what I need to buy so I'm gonna do kind of like a makeup declutter kind of sort of I don't know if I'm gonna film it honestly maybe I'll just show you guys my collection when it's done just because I don't know what I'm getting rid of or anything like that. And my plan right now is to kind of set up this part because I do want this to end up being my live backdrop for my videos, my YouTube videos. So mainly this portion. I'm going to kind of play around with this setup. I have this little donut glass from Ikea. This is also Ikea, a nest candle. And then I just grabbed some stuff from downstairs in my living room to kind of see what I can do with this area. So we will see what it looks like. I would like to have like a little lamp there just to add some ambiance. I don't know. <laughs> I really want a cute live backdrop. I've wanted one for years now and I can never really like get it to where I, it, I'm happy with it. So hopefully now i can so i'll probably be working on that for a little while my husband said that the second portion of the vanity the wood part we can probably get done this week and by we i mean him because he is going to be doing all the woodworking he's really really great when it comes to woodworking that's pretty much it for this guys and i will be back later hi guys it's tuesday so i have completely well okay i'm not gonna say completely but i've pretty much finished organizing this mom dresser i'm so excited it took me so long because i was being very particular about it and i had to get a couple of like inserts and i wanted to show you guys i have i always have these little tacks like everywhere in case i want to take like product photography for now i have my table here that i'm working off of this is going to be well this is usually like my filming desk so i'll move this whenever i need to because it does have those wheels and it is the best thing ever for when you have to work in a smaller area so this is just here temporarily until we get to build out that second half of the vanity. I'm gonna get a couple of prints here so that we could have a little bit of like levels, you know? And I'm probably gonna move those rolls whenever I get the opposite side of the room organized. I'll show you guys a very quick overview of what's going on inside these drawers. So this first one, very quickly, are going to be my powder foundations, my primers, concealers and all my foundations here this drawer is so packed full i didn't realize how much i have but it's all of my blushes and bronzers and highlights and i have them broken down into creams powders and category so that's what's going on in that one we have all the eyeshadow palettes i own as well as my cream eyeshadows and all of the good stuff. I have so many eyeshadow palettes for someone that does not use eyeshadow palettes really anymore. These two are actually unfinished. There's nothing in this bottom one. And then I just have boxes of lip products here because these two drawers are going to be dedicated to just lip products and I'm probably gonna have some overflow 
so we'll have to figure out storage for that and then this bottom one is my pr drawer which is so exciting because i've always wanted a pr drawer or just a way to store my pr and now i have it so it's pretty packed full i tried to do it in a way where i could see everything that's in here so i wanted to like lay everything out and display it so i could just go in here whenever i'm in need of something or if I have something top of mind that I'm like, oh, let me try that out. It's all in here. So that is so exciting and fun because it makes me feel like I'm shopping my own stash. I also have some lip liners here and I just took a couple of photos of the Fable in Maine products that just released, which is really exciting. So that's what's going on here. It's not completely finished as my live background, but I'm really liking how clean it is. And of course we have overflow here of more lip products. And these are gonna be my like rotations of what I typically use, my current usage situation. And I have this cart that is holding all of my lip products. There's lip products in there, lip products in here, my brushes. I think I have another box of lip products, but yeah, so that's what's going on today. Another piece of information, which I thought that I had filmed, but alas, I had not, is the mirror piece. So right here to the right of me, I do have a vanity mirror sitting there, and that's what I use to film all of my short videos, my reels, my TikToks, my shorts, and it is lit. It does have light bulbs in it. My original mirror, though, I purchased on Amazon, and my first thought whenever I was thinking everything up was that I wanted a larger mirror. I wanted something that I would have a lot of mirror and there would be a light to it so the light would act as my I'm sorry if you hear my puppy <laughs> she's in my room while I film and the light from the mirror would act as my filming light and I thought that would be a great idea I went with an LED panel light and it was a 40 40 inch wide uh, mirror so I thought that was great but whenever I got it into the room and I got it on to the table it was just way too large and the light itself was not bright enough I had to use a lot of supplemental light whenever using that mirror so it kind of just defeated the purpose of having that lip mirror so I went ahead reevaluated and we ended up going with a smaller mirror it's a 31.5 inch long mirror but it was the same height and also the most important part was that the lights themselves were a lot brighter so i do still use supplemental light i do have like a small led panel on top of the mirror that i use to film and then i use another led panel on the side so two supplemental lights versus like three or four supplemental lights with the other one and with this smaller mirror i do have more space on my vanity to put storage and to have my brushes and all of that stuff so I love this mirror I think that it's great I will link everything in the description box down below for you guys so you can shop these things or just see what I'm talking about the first mirror I bought came in great condition but I did change my mind so we did order a completely different mirror and it came cracked and shattered it was really sad it broke my heart in the reviews, uh, people did say that they did receive broken mirrors, which is kind of the nature of shipping mirrors, you know? Like, you do risk having it come cracked. So I wasn't too concerned about reordering from the same storefront. So I ordered again, and thankfully, the second mirror of this kind came, and it was perfect. So that's the one that I have now. So the plan is this week we are going to go ahead and make a second half of the vanity the mirror actually comes in on Thursday, so two more days, and I'm really, really excited about that. And then it's pretty much gonna be done as far as like the actual furniture setup goes, and then it's really just decorating and organizing. I definitely do have a couple of other random boxes of makeup that I'm going to have to figure out how to store. That's pretty much it. It was really nice because I was able to go through my makeup and throw away old stuff that I was just not using anymore or things that just really didn't fit in my collection anymore. And I also have like a giveaway box that I give away to friends and family whenever I'm able to. So that is really helpful because I was finally able to like pull stuff that can go to them and be of better use. Today on my agenda, I'm gonna be editing videos, I'm going to be scripting for videos, and I might also be filming some videos, but we will see. 
but that is my day. I will check back in whenever we have some more progress on the vanity situation. Okay guys, we're outside in our garage and this is the piece of wood that we purchased at Ikea this past weekend. And here is what we're working with. This is going to be the wood cut that Judd is going to be making for the office for the vanity. Essentially, we're going to be cutting the leg off of this and then the rest of it's going to be the vanity table. He has his table saw out. So it's just going to be straight cuts, really. And he's going to do dowels and pocket screws. So we're going to make those cuts and then in the next day, it should be done. I'm here to supervise and to stabilize. Okay, the mirror finally came in. I waited all day. I was very, very excited for this. With my luck, it'll be cracked. Moment of truth. Oh, perfect. All right, let's get this bad boy out. Guys, I look crazy. So today is another day of playing around with the vanity. However, today we are actually getting the live backdrop like situated and kind of nailed down you know so i got all my frames that i want i'm just going to show you guys this in selfie mode so i have the frames i just have to fill this last one with a print that i purchased and then i got this really cute lamp from target i really like that and then these are all things that i already have i have my camera right here I'm playing around with um, the setup where I want the camera whenever I'm filming. It's either going to be a straight on shot or we're going to do something kind of like to the effect of this where it's angled, you know, um, and it completely just depends on the lighting setup and, you know, how I have this situated. I'm kind of leaning towards like having it angled like this just because I feel like it gives it a little bit more interest without being too busy um and also i changed my mind on this mirror i don't know if i already mentioned that but i'm going to be actually i already purchased a smaller mirror because i found that while this is a really great light it's just not giving me enough light and then it's just an excessive amount of mirror where i could be using it as storage space so we had extra wood from this part we cut off length on it so my husband is now making shelves above here for more storage but you guys aren't going to be seeing that in videos it doesn't show in the camera in either setup that i tried but it's going to be really nice because it's going to fill in this wall and it's going to kind of tie in the wood and the dresser together nope oh <gasps> no <laughs> Guys, I just got my mirror and it's completely cracked. <laughs> so we're going to have to return it and exchange it. So probably another two days. Hi everybody. So it's been, I don't know, two, three days maybe since uh, the whole mirror mishap. And I reordered it and the new one's here. So God, I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping it's not broken. We got the dogs here for the big reveal. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, my heart. <laughs> all good, guys. It's not damaged at all. Now we're going to put together the base in the mirror. You know, I kind of like this base a bit more. Me too. It feels a little more sturdy. All right, guys, here is the new light. I thoroughly enjoy this. I think it's better than the other one. Let me actually go back so you guys can see what it's looking like. I'm still organizing this little section of the room, but this is what it's looking like on the vanity table. So as you can see, there is space right there. That's where this mirror was sitting. That was like all the space that I had and this is a lot smaller and the reason I opted for a smaller one was one I didn't think I needed it I needed as much mirror two I think that the more concentrated lights makes it even brighter so it's even more usable for videos and I don't know I just feel like it doesn't take over the entire vanity I will clean this up 
give you guys a final look. I also ended up doing a little something right there. Those are photos that I took for my business. And then that's an article that was featured in a magazine for me. And I just have like random stuff that I don't have a spot for yet. I want to make it look nice, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, this is kind of last priority because you can't see it in the videos. So it's all good. And yeah, so now we can probably move that over here and figure all of that out. But I'll show you guys. I need to wipe this mirror down. It is kind of crazy looking right now, but it seems a lot brighter. I really like that. I'm not a fan of the little ball lights right here. I really wanted to just do a full panel light, but I'm not going to complain because the reason for having a lit vanity mirror was so that I could use it as um, a, like a light source for videos. All that matters is the light is as bright as I need it to be. Totally fine. It doesn't look terrible either. I think it looks cute. It looks very quintessential makeup vanity mirror, you know, so it's good. And let me turn it around so you guys can see what I look like with the light. So whenever I'm filming my videos, I will be having a panel light right above this mirror. I might have some fill lights on the side if I need them, but honestly, I'm thinking that maybe I won't need them. And I will still use my softbox lights to light the background because I don't like how dark the back is whenever I film the videos. I'm really excited because I think that this is super usable and it's pretty much has turned out the way that I wanted it to. I have an entire list of short videos that I'm planning on filming and I was just waiting on this one piece. So I'm feeling really good about it, guys. So that is all the vlog footage. I didn't really like finish off the video in a vlog fashion. I guess it was my first time really vlogging. So bear with me if it's kind of been all over the place. I hope that you guys did enjoy it though. Overall, like I said at the beginning, my budget for this project was around $1,000 and we ended it off around $800. But that was perfect because I was able to use that extra money towards storage within these drawers. Like I bought some acrylic containers and stuff and I bought some brush holders and everything. If you guys are interested in seeing kind of a, like a makeup collection tour type of video vlog, let me know in the comments down below. I would be really excited to film that for you because I've never done something like that and just personally I think that those videos are really fun and creative and just I don't know, I like being a little nosy with people's makeup collections, so I think that it would be interesting, but you guys let me know if that's something that you're interested in. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this format was enjoyable for you. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you're interested in seeing more of. I actually would love to film more of these videos, and I promise if I do film another video like a vlog, it will be less chaotic and all over the place hopefully. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!